Hey there, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this cool, I call it out of frame profile picture. Now these are great for social media posts if you want, if you have your face on in something, or I happen to like them for um, like about pages for websites. So so much more, I don't know, unique looking than, ha than say having a picture in a regular square frame or a round frame. It's kind of has this illusion that she's kind of popping out of the frame. All right. So without any further ado, let's hop in and I will show you how to create this out of pop out of the frame profile picture. All right, if you're ready, let's start designing this cool photo effect. So I'm on the home screen of Canva and I'm going to click create a design and I'm just going to hit the down here where it says custom size. I'm going to just grab this one, which is 750 by 750 and it provides me with a blank canvas. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the photos and see if I can find a photo that I'd like to use. Okay, I'm going to select this one. I just like the lighting on it. Um, so I'm just going to drag this over to my canvas over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Command C and Command V. And now let me just separate them just so you can see. And in this one, the second one, I'm going to remove the background. Now, in order to do that, I've selected it. I'm going to go to Edit Image. And where it says BG Remover, I'm going to hit Background Remover. Then Canva will do its magic. And before you know it, it has removed the background. Canva does a really good job of this. I used to struggle with this by using... Photoshop and um, it really it really was uh, all, uh, you know way more labor intensive and I just absolutely love Canva because now it's just the press of a button and boom the background is gone all right so now let's go ahead and let's continue on with this design so I'm going to go into the elements and I'm going to search for a frame now a frame is going to hold a picture so just click on some frames I kind of want something a little, like, not a square, not a basic shape. Something that I think will be a little unique. I like this. This is what I was looking for. Kind of something like this. It's not really a blob, but I don't know. I like it. So I'm going to take that, put that on the canvas again. And what I'm going to do is, this one that has no background, I'm just going to slide her over there. And the face, the picture with the background, I'm going to slide that into the frame. All right, looking good. If I wanted to adjust it, I could either just grab the handles and make it, yeah, there we go, make it a little bit bigger. And if I wanted to adjust this, I could just double click on it and I could move her face around or I could make her fill, fill out more. Now, because I do want her head popping out of this ellipse, I am going to have her kind of popping out like that, maybe. Yeah, okay, I like that. Let's give that a shot. And I hit enter. Okay, so now that's how it's going to look. And again, I think I love this look for like blogs or, you know, various social media posts. If you're a real estate agent or, I don't know, some sort of a consultant or something like that. It's so much more interesting than just having your face in a regular circle or a square or, you know, I don't know. I just think it adds some professionalism and some design elements to it. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to slide the one with no background. We're going to make it. The position's going to be to the front, so I'm going to hit forward, okay? Now, I need to make sure this face lines up exactly with this face. Same size, same everything. So, now, see, see what happens when I go like that? Canva thinks I'm going to, I'm replacing the frame with a different image, okay? Now, this can drive a lot of newbies crazy, but there's an easy fix to this. Simply click on this shape. Go up to the upper right hand side and lock it. Okay. Now Canva knows that it's that photo is locked in there. And all I'm going to do is trial and error. I'm going to try to match her up as best as I think I can. And it'll help. Well, it's going to zoom in a little bit. We can zoom in. Sometimes if we zoom in and we drop the opacity. Okay. I can already see where her shoulders line up. 
And let me drop the opacity on this so I can see. There we go. <laughs> yeah, if I leave it, <laughs> the opacity on and then I move her around, she kind of lines up a lot quicker. Okay, there we go. All right, so now this seems like it looks good, right? But all of this stuff is hanging out, okay? We want to get rid of that. And that's really easy to do. Because in this layer, it's just this background layer that, I mean, it's layer that has no background. We can just crop her until we don't see any more of it. And then boom, there it is. Now, I could just go one step further and just highlight everything and just hit Command G for grouping it. So, oh, that does not work. Highlight everything and then Command G and group it. Oh, well, I don't know for some reason why it's not working, but I'm not going to mess with it. But so anyhow, there you go. That is your final image. I mean, I just think that looks so much cooler than, you know, the standard round image. All right. So there you have it. That's how you make sort of a, I call it like a pop out or over the frame profile picture. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.